Today we're going to take a look at the Kurt T Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with the four way flat trailer connector. Now, this is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2012 and newer Chevrolet Sonic vehicles. And on a custom fit part, I always like to recommend for you to go to our website, use our fit guide, put in your year model vehicle, and it'll show you if this part will work for your application. Now, this harness provides this four way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. It is compatible with 5-pole, 6-pole, and 7-pole adapters that we do sell separately on our website. This whole harness does connect very quickly and easily. Basically, you just locate your connection points, which will be in the rear cargo area. Plug in these T-connectors, one on each side, the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Ground your white wire, and then run your black power wire to your vehicle's battery. Now, this does include this taillight converter, this black box right here. This is to ensure that your vehicle's wiring will match that of your trailer. It is a powered module, that's why you'll connect directly to the battery to avoid overloading the vehicle's electrical system. This converter is constructed using SMT technology, which is surface mount technology. Gives you more consistent, reliable performance. Maximize your trailer light yield and intensity while producing minimal heat. Mm -hmm. It'll also ensure superior operation, a lot of rough road conditions. If you notice on the four-way, it does come with this integrated dust cap for the four-way. So when you're not plugged into your trailer, put that over the terminal. Protects them from any damage or from the elements. This harness is made in the USA. Few specs on it. The maximum amperage on the stop and turn light circuits is 5 amps per circuit. On the tail light circuit is 7.5 amps total. Now this part comes with everything laid out here on the table. Has a real nice set of detailed instructions on how to install everything with pictures. But basically when you go to install this, you go to the rear of the vehicle, to the rear cargo area and gain access behind the tail lights. And you want to start on the driver's side. Take the T-connector, it has the yellow wire in it. Unplug the harness from your tail lights. Plug this in between there. And then you'll have this white wire, this white wire with the eyelet on it. You want to connect that to a good clean ground. So if there's one nearby, you can use that. If not, they include a grounding screw. You can make your own ground. And then you'll take the other T-connector with the length of green wire. That goes over to the passenger side. Run that over there, plug that in. And then what you want to do is this converter box, you do want to attach this to a flat surface so it doesn't bounce around. So they include a piece of double face tape to do that with. Or you could even use one of the cable ties to attach it down. And there's even a little tab on it with the hole and you could put a screw in there to hold it if you'd like. Run this length of bonded wire with the four way on it out to the back towards the trailer. And the remaining wire you need to connect is this black wire and that's your power wire. This is the one that will go to your vehicle's battery to the front of the vehicle. So they give you this extra length of wire to do that and some connectors. So take one of your butt connectors, put it on your power wire, connect it at one end of the length of wire, and then run this wire all the way to the front. And then once you get to the front, you don't want to connect this directly to the battery. You want to run it through the inline fuse holder. So take your other butt connector, put it on there, connect it to one side of the fuse holder, just like that. <clears throat> and the other side of the fuse holder, you'll take this eyelet connector and attach it, and that'll connect to the battery. Once that's all done, open it up. Take the included 15 amp fuse, put it right into your fuse holder, put your cap right on there to protect it, and your system will be all ready to go. They include some extra cable ties to take up any slack in the wiring. But that should do it for the review on the Kurt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with the 4-Way Flat Trailer Connector.